On today's video, I am going to show you a simple way how to link a story to an epic, right? We've been doing this Jira playlist for like a couple of months now. So the goal today is just to show you how simple we can link a story to an epic. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you join my channel. So let's get into the video. So currently I'm in my backlog view and in the backlog view, I have stories in my product backlog. And these stories in my product backlog basically do not have any epic link to it. And for this particular program, uh, this Jira program share board, uh, you always see the epic on the side, right? I know for the uh, for a single project, you might not be able to see this epic in this particular view, but for a share project, you see it in this view. So if you see on this uh, left hand side, we have epic and we have versions. And version we already know is for release. And we have the epic. That's where I'm planning to link my story to this epic. In order for me to link this epic to the story, I first of all have to uh, or click on epic, right? So when I click on epic, then all my epic will show up, right? I have like other epics I've already created in the past. And let's say I want to link uh, one of my story, like for example, do agile and complete work towards uh, program details, right? Uh, this particular epic being program details, then I'll click on the drop down arrow. So as I click on the drop down arrow, then I'll just click and grab the story. Click and grab the story and let go. That the way, the epic is already linked. And it gives Jira even tells you at the top, like successfully I've linked it. And now you see the difference, right? So now it's telling me here, this is my epic. My epic is now linked to this story. Uh, and right away, you see it uh, also in the view of your product backlog. That's one simple way to easily link your epic uh, to a story by clicking and dragging. Another way too we can do this is basically by us opening the story itself. So when I click on this Coach Save Scrum Master, I click on this story. I open the story up and then I'll click on the story ticket number, which is SHT19. I click on the SHT19. I fully opened up the story. It's loading right now. So as I fully open up the story, I go all the way to Epic Link. So right now it's saying none because we did not link any Epic to this story. So when I click on this right here and all the Epic I have in this um, project will actually show up, right? So these are all the Epic. So then I just click on, for example, this is Scrum Coach Save, uh, Coach Save Scrum Master user story. So let's just say it's going to be part of program detail. So I just click program detail. Ta-da! Right away, it links the epic to the story. So that's just a simple way how we can link a story to an epic. And if you want to unlink it, you easily will just click on that. Let's say you link the, the wrong one. Uh, you click on it and you X out of it. That's how you take it off too. Uh, and sometimes someone was asking me, well, how can I unlink an epic right there? You just click and you unlink and you click to exit out. So let's just put it back on. <laughs> so that's how we linked it. So let me go back to my backlog and let's go back to the product backlog. Ta -da! So these are the stories that have Epic and that's one way you can look at, uh, look at your backlog and see what stories do you have that's linked to an Epic or what stories that are not linked to an Epic is this view. So these stories that are showing here, these are the two stories that's linked to an Epic and all these other stories in this product backlog have no link to an epic. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope to see you all in my next video. If you've been finding my content valuable, please like and subscribe to this channel. I really, really appreciate it. And if you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to contact me at Aisha Scrum, admin at AishaScrumTech.com. See you all again next time.